So friends, I want to tell you about Elvis Presley, Summer of 61. This book, you can see right here, is by David English, Keith Russell, Pal Granlon, or Pal Granlon. And this book, I actually did not have this prior to me telling this story. Very, very cool book. Full of photographs that some of these guys own. Special photographs, and you can see all these different things. And I don't even mention this in the in the video, but that Florida theater is gone. It got torn down. A lot of this stuff, but really cool stuff. I talk about this photograph. So I just want you to know, this is Elvis at Wiki Watch. I just put this out. I want you to know that this book is out there. I highly recommend it. It's called Elvis Presley, Summer of 61. It was a very limited edition, but very, very well done. I recommend if you can find it, buy it. I think I paid $175 for this. Well worth every penny. Really cool, really well done book. And thank you to David English, Keith Russell, and Powell Granlin. Thank you, gentlemen, for compiling this. I didn't have it before I filmed, but I did use it after I filmed to confirm stories and make sure that everything I was saying was accurate. Check it out, friends. So, friends, we're in Inverness, Florida, and we're just turning in. We're going to try to find something real quick. I actually just saw it. So we're going to turn around and go to it. This was in a movie. This particular building is still here and it was in the movie. And we're going to go in it tomorrow. And there she is, the courthouse. And the movie Follow That Dream. Some of the movie was shot inside that courthouse right there. So we'll come back tomorrow and go in and take a little sneak peek around and see what we see. Yes, indeed we will. And we're headed to Crystal River where it was filmed at. We're also headed to find a nice seafood restaurant, Inverness, Florida. Paradise Point Road, the Port Marina Hotel. Well, back then it wasn't called that. We'll go down here and see what it looks like at night. The Port Hotel and Marina. old school friends. Back in 1961 you could just imagine what this looked like. So I'm gonna talk to the lady and we'll see what's up. Stay tuned. So friends the lady's very nice and she said that I could film so I'm gonna go I'm gonna do some night filming. I want you to see what this was like for Elvis and the guys at night. Listen. You hear those frogs? Those frogs, you know, were doing that kind of stuff at night. I'm gonna go down this sidewalk right here and walk through. And this place looks like it is very much like it was. She said on the weekends, it will fill up. Right now, there's not many people here, but it looks like a pretty nice place. See, they got rental boats, kayaks, 
and all that kind of stuff. I do. They've got a little restaurant that area that's out there. There's folks out here fishing. And I'm going to walk out in that area. She said that out in that area is where there's a photograph I'm going to show you. She's saying that's where that photograph was taken at. But they would have stayed right here. She said it's been being flooded. You can see the water was up to there at some point. And this is Captain Mike's swim with the manatees. They rent bicycles here. It's nice to be able to come out here and film when there's not a million people out here. At least for right now. And in the photograph that I'm going to show you, there was a mushroom. Like a, uh, you would see sitting around a pool back in the day. And... Elvis was leaning up against that mushroom. I don't see it. She also did not know what room he stayed in, but she knew that they did know. So, it's one of those deals where they've not really embraced it because nobody really knows that this is here on a large scale and that's where I come in I told her that I could probably help her get some people out here to stay just looking to see if I saw that old mushroom back here I don't but even though Elvis was a movie star and in fact the king of rock and roll he still stayed at little places like this. They didn't have five-star hotels in Crystal River, friends. Then or now. And I do want you to know that tipping your captain is customary and greatly appreciated. I'm assuming that's the captain that said thank you on that. And also tipping your dock hand. So it looks like there's tip, 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 tip canoe and tiger two, Tyler two, I should say. So I was hoping this would get me over there and the answer is it won't. But you can still get a look out here for what it was like. It's very much like it was in the 60s, I would say. And she knew which one of these he stayed in, so we'll figure all that out. I'll come back tomorrow in the a.m. and show you what it looks like during the day and I'll probably even fly the glory because you know we want to see what it looks like from the glory. I guarantee told you that. It's some murky water. I could see the creature from the Black Lagoon come up out of that. So I'm going to walk through here to the pool, which should be on the other side over here. See if I see the mushroom over here.
do not. I'm going to study that picture tonight. See if I can figure out where it happened at. I'll bet you. photograph I saw him in made me think he was like on a place like this and this is Crystal River I can tell because it says Crystal River on that sign right there It looks like the it's river's flowing that way pretty hard. But I was imagining where Elvis was being out here somewhere. Because you can see part of the hotel in the background. So I'm gonna look at that and Give you an update soon. Stay tuned. And this right here is the photo that I'm talking about. And you can see that there's a staircase right there. I'm not red dotting her. That's the, the red dot on the front of the camera showing that is recording, reflecting off the, the, camera, the phone because it's nighttime. You see that staircase right there. And to the next to it, to the left, is a like an entrance. So let's look. I think that staircase is going to be somewhere right over in here. I think he was, I think this used to be grass and he was out here and there was an entrance to a restaurant right there, but I don't see that, that staircase. I may be able to tell more during the day, but I'm going to look around at night while there's not so many people here. And you can also see that the dock, you see this is going at an angle, which would be that angle right there, if this would focus. Let me back out. You see there's an angle there. So the dock is here, going in, it turns at an angle and then goes like that. And that reminds me of that little spot right in there so maybe if I can find this staircase right here that'll tell me so this is the spot the stairway was right there so when you look in this photograph that stairway that you see right 
there is right there and you can see that it's gone and then the opening that you see for the windows is this now it's of course changed since 1961 but this is definitely where it was at so the stairway was right there that's a like a concrete structure that was the bottom the stairs were on that structure and it went up to that floor you can see it's since been removed but that is and you can see the structure under it right there and then you can see the windows right here so this is definitely it so that means that they were out there on that that little jut where I just was before it was concrete and before that building was there it was grass around the edge all the way around and there was a mushroom out there I wonder where that mushroom is at so it happened right here and that little turn that I was talking about is this turn right here you can see the turn right there and you can also see that in the photograph another thing you can see is the width of that little place right there at the top of the building you can see it right up there you can see it's pretty wide right at the top of the top of the building but there was a door right there it's been closed off but it was there you see that whole thing has been closed in but that is still that's the bottom of it but all that's been closed in that was a a walkway to the front of rooms staircase right there Elvis out there so we know now where that's at and we're gonna look around and we're gonna to try to go in Elvis's room this is nighttime which is a good time to show this because the sunlight makes it hard to see things plus a ton of people make it hard so we're going to walk and look a little bit more and see what else we can find but this structure was not here no doubt and this was where he was at out in this area so it may be that the swimming pool was out here at that time instead of on the far side of the building like it is now i don't know we'll have to dig into it some more and ask some questions the lady at the front desk <clears throat> honestly didn't know anything about it we'll go to the other end of this structure and see if I can figure out how it got enclosed and what that looks like and why you can really hear that water Okay, so this is the staircase on the other end. So it goes up to the landing that the staircase on the other end did go to. So it used to be, back then, that this went through. See, they've closed it off, they made it storage or something. But that's the other end right down there. So that explains it. This used to be a walkway, just like that, all the way through. And those pipes, you can see, have been cut off. There it is, friends. Now we know.
and you see how that's made with the edge I'll show you this beveled edge it's a little beveled edge right there it's hard to see during the dark that's the way the bottom of that stairwell where the stairway was back there was me so I'm sure they hung out and walked out on this it's even a frog all the way up here up there I bet you Gone down these stairs. This thing hadn't changed much since 1961. So let's go look again. I want you to see what I'm talking about. You see how that's beveled? I don't know if you can see it or not in this. I'll try to show it tomorrow. That same bevel is where this stairwell was. See that same bevel right there has that same shape to it so that is original the bevel part what's not original is that it's closed in and the staircase was on top of this in fact you can even see where the staircase was it was on that going down so that concrete was there at the time. Now you know. No longer here, except for in history. All right, I'm gonna point out one more thing. You see this little square spot with the palm tree. The edge of that, you see that thing's kind of a square where the palm tree is. It's just to the left of, or adjacent to the staircase this is the edge of that opening so that you see where that turns right there that would have gone across and over to there and it would have been a square that palm tree would have been right here it may be that palm tree let's see if it i think that palm tree It's hard to tell where the room is, but it's a possibility as that palm tree is definitely taller than it was. I would say, based off of the, of the photograph, the problem is, is the angle of it. Hard to tell where things are. Because it looks like to me that that palm tree, palm tree in this photo, would have been more maybe back here but it looks like it's in the center of that as well it's possible that it's that one maybe this thing's not focusing very well in the dark I don't know, friends. Can't be sure on that one. I'm sure when they take up palm trees, they take up the whole thing. Maybe in the daytime we'll have a clue. That concrete's been busted up. It was around here. Let me see, the rest of it was was grass up to there in fact this side of it okay so if you look right here if you see the bottom of the staircase you see there's concrete that circles around that palm tree 
So the bottom of the staircase would have been somewhere out here. In fact, you can see where the bottom of the staircase was because there's a piece of steel. So the bottom of the staircase would have been over here. So you know what? That is the palm tree. Because the bottom of the staircase would have been way over there. That's the front of the piece of steel. And you can see that it's clearly steel. Come on. So this palm tree is in the right spot. It has not been moved. That is the palm tree in the photograph. And it was grass up to right here. That would have been the end of the pavement, the end of the concrete right here. And so the grass would have gone from here all the way out there. Hmm. We'll come back and study some more tomorrow. So friends, I am in Crystal River, Florida. You can see the sign right here. The gem of Florida's nature coast. And the movie Follow That Dream was filmed all around this town. And they stayed in this particular town. So today I'm going to go find as many locations as I can find to show you what it looked like then and what it looked like now. Stay tuned. Whoever that is behind me thinks that I want to hear their song, their music. You know, their selection is not great, so I don't really want to hear it. But for some reason, they like it so loud that everybody can hear. And then when they get older, they won't be able to hear. But it is what it is. All right, so I filmed this last night which I was glad to come last night because I was able to get my eyes on it like I do a lot of times. I a lot of times film things twice, but I think I'm probably going to show you both pieces or I may not show you the nighttime stuff. We'll just have to see how it, how it turns out. But we're turning right here. You can see that sign up there says the Port Hotel and Marina. This is Paradise Point Road. This is where Elvis and the guys and I would even presume the film crew would have stayed here while they were filming <clears throat> There's a photograph of Elvis and I believe his co-star sitting out on a little jut out or a peninsula that has a uh, like a mushroom top you know how they would do those uh those fiberglass mushrooms and elvis is leaning up against a mushroom and in the background you can actually see a stairwell and a palm tree and i was able to figure out <clears throat> where the mushroom is to was today is like a two-story bar on that little uh peninsula and so, and it was all grass back then. And where that staircase was, the staircase is gone. And it has been closed in and turned into a storage area, but the palm tree is still there. And the palm tree is taller now. And I came here last night, it was so dark that you really could barely see. But today it is not that dark. <laughs> As you can see, it's not dark at all. So we're going to roll up in here and see what we can see, friends. This is the hotel that they stayed at right here. Come with, won't you? So friends, we are here at the hotel where they stayed. And you can see this thing has a very distinct design. You see how it's got that angle right there. And it's got the Schecter shingles that are at an angle below. And Elvis and the Memphis Mafia definitely stayed here. And I feel like it's even possible that the film crew stayed here. I feel pretty confident they all would have stayed here together. 
And of course, this place is a little older now. But 57 years ago, this was probably top of the top of the top. They said that they had flooding recently after the hurricane and the water is actually all the way up in here and like inside the building. So, wow. I'm sure that's what they're doing here. They've got these doors open trying to drop stuff out. She's going to come out a little bit and take us to the room that Elva stayed in. Indeed she is. The one that they were planning on leaving when they rebuild, mm -hmm. because they're going to be knocking it down. So oh, they were really? Gonna, they were going to leave this room. Yeah, they definitely need to. So they're going to knock it down and start over again. As yeah, far oh, as yeah, the, they're rebuilding. And build it up, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So this would make sense. This is the one that is the most isolated on the far left. Mm -hmm. It's right on the river. And naturally, that guy's going to be right there. What are the odds of that? Unbelievable. That's where the... The swimming pool thing would have been. Now, was the pool there at the time? This is where Elvis would have stayed, friends, for the fall of that dream movie. He would have been in this room, right on the edge. And so they're getting ready to remodel, is what she's saying. And basically, when I say remodel, they're going to tear it down and start over again. So, but this is the kind of hotel, this hotel is more typical of that time in the 60s. So this is the window. Of course, this door's not original, but you'll be able to walk right out here on the terrace. And the river's right there, and look at how beautiful this view is. And the photograph is right over there where that two-story structure is now. That was a grassy area right there. So he would have walked from right here right over to there. And this is the spot, right here. So we're going to look at a few more things around. And this is it, friends. Elvis stayed right here in room 101. And when they rebuild the hotel, they're going to tear it down and and build new structures they're planning on keeping this room and uh which is awesome they should keep this room this is important so he would have pulled right up in the vehicles right in here offices right over there and this could have been isolated from the rest of the hotel on the other side makes perfect sense all right so we are right here. I don't know if those guys are waiting on me or what, but this palm tree right here, I don't know if they grow that slow. I mean, we're talking about 57 years ago, but this is the spot that it was in. If you look at here, this is where the staircase was. Now this daytime, we can see a little better. The bottom of the stairs would have been there. It would have gone up here to that landing. So the top of the stairs would have actually been this high and going all the way to the floor right here. And this would have been under it. This is in the photograph. That's in the photograph. The front of this area right here is in the photograph. So it is right down here. I'm gonna come down here and show you where the photograph was taken from somewhere in this area down here. <clears throat> and she's looking to see if by chance they know where that mushroom is that he's leaning leaning against because you know nobody throws anything away now what it would have been well it would have been a concrete edge right here and this would have all been grass and it would have been shot at this angle i wish the rest of those trees were not there so we could get a better shot They were right in here somewhere. And you can see this peninsula juts out to here. Somewhere in this neighborhood. So they would have been right in here somewhere. I would assume that you see there's a pretty good amount of grass. In fact, they're at a 
it's at a pretty good angle like this because you can see the edge of that is going like this. So that's just caught in the edge. If this building wasn't here, you would be able to see it. And it looks like to me that those buildings were not even there. But maybe these are newer. It's where the side that he's on right here, you see there's a doghouse right there, in fact, would have been up against that wall. So the wall is there, this little wall right here, and the doghouse would have been somewhere over in there. And that is him as well on the grass. So that would have been kind of at this kind of an angle where you see the concrete on the edge right there in the water. So this is it, this is where it happened at. He was right out here on this peninsula. But I don't believe those buildings were there. So I found this overhead, this aerial from way back then, and I want you to see that peninsula or jetty. You see three mushrooms. One, two, three. You can actually make them out. That's where he was standing, right there. I think it would be the right mushroom to the far right. So I was right. Friends, that looks like a doghouse right there, and it may not be. It could be a planter with a uh, something in front of it, but that structure is definitely different from this structure. I was saying it was in front of that wall, and at second glance, you can see the roof of it right here where my thumb is at to the right of Elvis. You see the edge of a roof, so it was a one-story structure right there at the time. So I don't believe any of these were here. Those were added. So the main part of the hotel was over in this area and there's a swimming pool on the other side of those buildings now but I believe the swimming pool may have been out here. Oh Lord. How much weed eating can they do? Every time I turn around I keep running into that guy. So I think maybe the swimming pool was in this area. I'm going to see if I can come up with any photographs. But it would have been tiny, but I believe it may have been out on this. So people come out here and get rent these boats. I'm sure it is a lot of fun. And then they can even get with Captain Mike on the manatee boat and go out and swim with the manatees. wonder how many of these houses were there back then. It looks like uh, some of them are of that vintage. This is definitely newer. That one looks like it could be of that age. That one down there that's old school right there. I believe it was definitely here back then. You've got a lot out in here that were that age. That boat's going backwards. Motor's in the front. I wonder what that's about. That's Captain Mike's private river tours. Swim with the manatees, so it's one of these boats from over here. So friends, I was going to show you a lot of houses in Florida have these little canals behind them. And so they have their own docks and all that kind of stuff. And these guys are, I believe they are dredging 
they're cleaning out, but you see there's a guy with the scuba tank getting ready to go in. I don't know if he's going to go down there and clean something. Because I imagine their hoses get stopped up and that kind of stuff. If, you, if you've ever seen that, uh, what is that, that show about uh, digging the gold in uh, Alaska? Where they have to go in the water sometimes. Or actually they have to go in the water all the time, the whole time they're digging the gold. But they'll suit up like that and jump in. I just happen to be here at a moment. And this guy's not going in with tanks, he's going in with a airline. If he was going in with tanks, of course you know he would have to say tanks a lot. But this is not something I see every day, so I thought you would be interested to see it. So there it is. And these little houses here I say little, some of them are big. That's a big old house right there, a three story. You can actually hear the guy breathing. So there it is, friends. They're down there working. So, friends, I am in Inverness, Florida, or Inverness. And I'm going to show you something here. If you've ever watched the movie Follow That Dream, the courthouse scenes were indeed shot right here. Yes, they were. So we're going to go in here and take a little look-see. Stay tuned. Movie theater right there. And there's a story about Elvis going to the Inverness movie theater, and I w would assume that that is it right there. You don't reckon this person would just jump up and be in the middle of the sidewalk, do you? I think they would. I was going to take the sidewalk, but I can't. There's a vehicle in the middle of it. Hello. I'll get it, thank you. Mm -hmm. They have Elvis t-shirts. Elvis is literally everywhere, friends. So this is a museum. Uh, 1893, all the way to, uh, uh, so this is records. Yeah, these are the records, yeah. Uh, most of the stuff that you can see, wow. deeds, uh, records, if you were incarcerated, if you were married, if you went to the service. Uh, and the biggest thing is title searches, you know, for the... Uh, from 1893 till about the early 1950s. And these books would have been here when they were filming here. Yes, most the, of the these. The vast yeah, majority yeah, of them would yeah, have been. Yeah, because she, they filmed in 61, and the, and the uh, movie didn't come out until 60, April of 62. Yeah, so yeah. So this is a, a vault. Yeah, yeah. Wow. A literally a vault that, that still keeps it. And, and, it's, and it's crazy how many people still ask. This is the only part that's still, how can I put it, it's still working, I guess. Yeah. Because they don't have the space in the new building that they built in uh, 7980 across the street. Well, I do a lot of that for Elvis. You know, you can find a lot of things. Especially today more than ever. Hello. So this is the famous courtroom. Yeah, this is where he actually filmed, yes. They filmed the scenes for Follow That Dream right here right, in this right. courtroom. Mm -hmm. There he is.
Do they have photos of scenes? Based on these scenes. So you can see them sitting, you can see all that in right. the background. Because when we remodeled, if it wasn't for the movie stills, we wouldn't have had this room the way it is. Right. So this got changed and changed back, is that right. what you're saying? Mm -hmm. So you can see the, the banister, the door. Mm -hmm. There's the right. door, mm -hmm. there's the mm -hmm. banister. Very interesting. Man, I'm glad y'all have all this. So this is what it looks like in the real world, friends, mm -hmm. during a movie. And that's the grandpa from a different movie. It's Arthur Connell, I think, mm -hmm. from the uh, movie, yeah. Yep, and, but he played in a different show, a TV show, or he was a father, a grandfather in a different TV show. I was trying to think of what it was. But wow, those are really cool. But you can see all the lighting mm -hmm. and all the things it took. There's the windows, and you mm -hmm. see there's curves on the windows. Mm -hmm. And then there's a door and a door. And there's the curves. There's a door there. There's the curve. So this is very much like it was okay, but you have to realize back then. that in the mid to late 60s, they decided to modernize. Modernization means that on the main floor, except for the square that has the seal, pink carpeting, they dropped the ceiling, put up false walls so you could not see the uh, uh, marble wainscoting. Uh, that was for uh, downstairs. Up here, they divided this room in half, moved the courtroom this way, got rid of the railing, got rid of the raised uh, flooring here, got rid of the judge's bench, and went to like an eight or nine foot bench on this side. On the other side, they put in seven to eight offices and took away those two uh, curved offices uh, completely, and they charged rent for it. And they thought they were gonna make more money. So in uh, uh, the late 80s, when we saved the building and wanted to come back and bring it back to its glory of the 20s and 30s and such, uh, we had the pictures and the uh, um, uh, plans for downstairs up here. Nada. We could not find enough pictures to reconstruct this perfectly. But you had this. But somebody said, well, what about United Artists and, uh, you know, and... Uh, uh, I think it was MGM at the time too, and they said this is what brought it back. If it wasn't for these movie stills, this room would not be put back the way it is. So we put back the railing, we put back the nine inch uh, raised uh, uh, flooring, and also the 23 inch raised. Uh, so none of this is original, is what we're no, saying. No, these no, are recreations. Yes, yeah, right. all recreated, okay. right. What? What is still the room? This room is, is the room, even though the the interior is not exactly the interior. Oh, this room, yes. Yes. Yeah, and it's because of the movie that we were able to bring it back so closely as we were. Because at the time, we tried to work with Graceland to get photographs. And come to find out, a guy in um, Cleveland, Mississippi is the guy that I understand that Graceland often goes to to get photographs that they don't have. What, mm -hmm. what was his name? Do you know him? He, ha um, he had over 20,000 um, photographs when he acquired um, the photographs from the um, film. Oh, from the film company. Yeah, right, uh -huh. right. And, that, and those, those amounted to about 2,000. Wow. What was his name? Uh, we, we were just talking about him last year to about coming down with his uh, book. Um, I mean, to, to supplement the book, rather. Yeah. So this is a photograph she's got in a book, and it says Elvis runs for cover from the rain at Port Paradise. This is that photograph, or this is the building, a one-story building, where there was a wall here, and in one of the photographs, it almost looks like there's a doghouse right around here somewhere, but it's, I think it's something out here in the photograph. We'll look at it closer. Uh, I'll zoom in on the computer so you can see it. But there is the front office. That's where it was at at the office, and if you look this way, that is where the, uh, the cove was. That's where the, the boats are right here. And they were over in this area shooting back this way in that photograph. So that is a uh, interesting photograph that's gone. Now there's a wall here and there's a two story structure right there. And uh, they are very confident that he actually stayed in this structure, not in this building on the far end.
So this would have been the more exclusive. You can see it's fenced off, a little more exclusive area. So a lot of the things that I filmed before are no good now because of that information, but that's why we're on a fact-finding mission. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And see, I've not been able to find a photograph of this, of this area, but the edge of that you can actually see in this photograph right here. Uh, these were um, four or five connecting suites. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. And you see it almost looks like a doghouse right there. <laughs> and there's a, a roof there. The edge of that roof right there would be the edge right mm -hmm. there. And this is still there, that building where that staircase is. Mm -hmm. The staircase is gone now, but that, that um, mm -hmm. palm tree is still there. Mm -hmm. It's part of the restaurant. It's a lot taller than that. But the restaurant is here. They've actually cut that off and taken it away. That little bottom is there, but they closed that off and it's storage. All those rooms are a storage area now. Mm -hmm. It still exists, and you can see that part. This part is still there, but that palm tree is quite a bit taller. How I don't know how fast palm trees grow, but in 57 years, it's not but maybe 10 feet taller than that. Does that sound right for 57 years? Mm -hmm. You think so? I'm surprised it's still alive with saltwater intrusion. Yeah, and it may be a different palm tree, but it's in the same spot yeah. based off of if you line up the way the it falls as opposed to the um, uh, to the staircase. Oh. Interesting. So now we know, friends, and we found that out in the courthouse. He's wearing a tweed jacket in the middle of August. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like 95 degrees, you know, humidity it makes it feel like it's about 110 in here. So whoever the... Um, uh, the scouts and the people who put the stuff together did not realize the heat factor. And they would have to change the, um, his shirt, like you said, they say about 20 times. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, the f film company started down in southeast Florida, uh, or southwest Florida, looking for a location. Mm -hmm. And it may have been because the author of the book wintered down there. Richard Powell, mm -hmm. um, he was from New Jersey originally, but I think he probably, I think he wintered in Fort Myers. And so they started um, working their way up the west coast of Florida. And of course, you know, all the great beaches are at, um, south of here. We do not have beaches. And um, so, uh, but I s suspect the courtrooms were um, full and not available or they didn't want to do it or whatever. But we didn't get our f first sitting circuit judge until 19, 70s with Judge Edwards. So they were probably only hearing the circuit court cases in this courtroom in the fall and the spring. And so uh, the summer, you know, they wouldn't have been hearing any cases and it was um, pretty much vacant and open. So uh, somebody over on the west side of the county or English Yankee Town suggested that they come over here mm -hmm. and check out the courtroom. Of course, then there was the problem of not having any beaches. They had just built a beach out at the end of the road, and that's sometimes confused with where the filming actually occurred because it was before the end of the Highway 40. It was really um, when you go across the bridge and you look back to your right. That okay. was Bird, Bird Creek. So you're saying that uh, I'm, from the from the film, it looks like you the bridge is to the left of the of the land. So the land would be you're going down the highway, lands on the right, then the bridge. So you're saying it's across the bridge coming back? No, no, you go across the bridge going west mm -hmm. and it's on the north side of that little creek. Okay. To the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or actually it would to be your on the left. it would be on the it would be on the east side. Okay. East side right. of the river, okay. that creek. And yeah. they figure that there was about what, fifteen thousand cubic yards of sand that they brought right. in to make yeah. it look primo. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, you know, and, and like she just like Kathy just said, we don't have beaches like that in this area. And the other part was so cool is here is July and August, they planted all of these new palm trees, uh, the wrong palm trees for this area, but they planted all these new palm trees and of course they all died. So they had a guy every day come in and literally paint the palm trees so they look like they're alive, you know, green <laughs> or, or, or everything else. And they said they turned a telephone pole into a palm tree. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So I'm assuming that pole would probably yeah, still be Yeah, the be pole there. is still there. Yeah. yeah. And then when they left, they, they literally 
scrubbed everything, you know, back to the scrubs and, and to the uh, palmettos back. Uh, and, and, the, and probably the only thing that's still there probably is the uh, telephone pole. But at one time it was painted green too to look like a palm tree. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of Have cool. you been out there yet? I haven't yet. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. going to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then the other uh, sidebar is, uh, is uh, Inglis said, you know, uh, Elvis Presley Parkway, you know, the, the road. Now, Yankee Town, where the beach scene is actually, refused to name it because the mayor and the council at that time thought that Elvis, you know, because he used drugs, you know, they didn't want to name the name after him, so they kind of shunned him. And so at least English said, you know, here's the sign, you know, you go X amount of miles down, and that's where he did the scene. They were smart enough to at least to put it there yeah. to, off of 19. It's, it's smart to em embrace him because mm -hmm. it'll bring people. Oh yeah, we've had, um, last year we had the Elvis Presley fan club from England come. And I understand it's the second largest um, right below um, Graceland. Mm -hmm. So yes, they come from far and wide. Mm -hmm, they will, it's amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I do. I go all over the world for Elvis stuff, believe it or not. <laughs> that is great, that is great. Um, do you know how to get to the wheel house? The wheel house? The we all house. We all? Yeah, you know the um, house with the front porch? I do not. This is uh, the, the fence. There's still a fence out in front of the house. And um, that's it. And here, here it, okay. it is again. Um, it's basically the way it was. Really? 50... Let, let me take a photograph of that. Here, here, take this one. Okay. Because this is Robin and Gavin Coons. And the, so... The, so you know these two kids yeah, are local? The, no, no. These two are the actual actors okay. that now live in California. One lives in Burbank next to Ann, not far from Ann Helms, and the other one's somewhere in California also. Um, they came here twice when we were doing the Follow That Dream. They, did, when, they came here for the play, right? Yeah, when yeah. Elvis mm -hmm. come, came to town. Very cool. So... Elvis met Tom Petty. Yeah, right. Uh, he was about, uh, he was still 10, didn't quite turn 11 yet. And his uncle was a crew member on the film. And uh, they met uh, in between filming scenes and so forth. And based on that meeting and then seeing Elvis and the, all the adulation that the community was giving him, not only the ladies, but the guys and, 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 uh, and the glory that he was getting that... Uh, he decided right then and there, if he's going to be anything, he's going to be a rock and roll singer and do the best he can. And, and he traded all his collections in to get his first guitar. And he made sure <laughs> that based on that, that's when he became Tom Petty that we know today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, his family was living in the uh, Gainesville area at the time. So, uh, so uh, that's, that's how uh, he came to his glory based on that. So this is the artifact room right here, but this is where this photo right here was filmed, or shot, I should say. You can see that window, there's that window to the right, and then this is the corner. You can see right here is the corner, that's that window and that window, and there was a fireplace, but the fireplace is not in the photograph, it's over here, but they were right here in this room. This is it. And you can see the, the wood right there has been changed or it's been, you can see it's, it's actually dark wood right now. It's been stripped. And of course, a lot of this stuff has been updated. This thing doesn't have the, the trim and stuff around it. So, but this is the room that they were reading over the scripts and stuff in, yeah. right here. It's right beside the courtroom. Here, let me get the key. And also you said the balcony where they shot the thing where you see the gas station, is that on yeah, this side? Yeah, yeah, Let's see. I gotta be ready in a moment to change my film now. Oh gosh. Almost. Do <laughs> you have any planning for this year? Well, um, no, you, you can take him up to the balcony and I'll, I'll, I'll have this open when you come down. Uh, you can see, just be careful. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. So this
this is it. So when you watch the movie, friends, no doubt, filmed right here.